Today is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Like almost all surviving D-Day veterans, Henry Parham is in his 90s. But what he did there and what he did when he, fit, when he came home, they're both extraordinary. Gary Tuckman has his story. 21-year-old Henry Parham worked as a bus porter in Virginia when he entered the U.S. Army. Today, he's an American hero and living history. That's because Henry Parham is believed to be the last surviving African-American D-Day combat veteran. You're going to be 98 in November. Oh, yes. That's almost a century. Oh, yes. And you've seen a lot. Uh, yes, I have. No, you don't want to go down the steps. So Henry Parham, who lives in Pittsburgh with his wife, Ethel, vividly remembers fellow soldiers drowning off Omaha Beach and the Nazi air bombardments. Of course, I was scared from my life, sure. He was part of a most unique Army combat unit, the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion. The mission? To launch huge hydrogen-filled balloons from the beaches of Normandy to protect Allied troops on the ground from enemy aircraft above. And most notably, all the soldiers of the battalion were black. Only a relatively small number of black troops were able to be part of the D-Day invasion. The U.S. military still segregated and discriminatory. That's the way things were. We were separated from white and black, but I was doing my duty. He has always tried to focus on the positive. When you came back home after the war, fighting for Americans' liberty, fighting for freedom, and realizing when you got back, you still didn't have that same liberty and same freedom that white Americans had. Were you disappointed? Were you surprised? Or did you expect that? Well, no, I wasn't disappointed because I grew up under those conditions. His wife of 45 years says her husband's optimism has served him well. And I think it's a great honor that he sacrificed to make this world a better place for every one of us. The author of this book about the black soldiers of the 320th says there were 621 troops in the battalion and that Henry Parham is the last surviving member. Yeah, I have to try to find it, yeah. After being modestly quiet about his World War II experiences for decades, Henry Parham has now received accolades and medals, including the prestigious French Legion of Honor Award. I thank God that with all the accolades that are going around, that he's alive to witness it. Henry Parham knows he was fortunate to survive D-Day. Were you afraid you were going to drown? No, because I prayed to the good Lord to save me. Did you know how to swim? No. Despite the hardships before, during, and after the war, Private First Class Parham is very grateful to have served. I did my duty. I did what I was supposed to do. As an American, an American hero.